All right, you guys, it's me, Andre, back with another blog video. Today, I want to talk about spells to attract money. Some people know how to attract money without candles, but I love to use candles, especially the green ones. But for me, I do money spells during the full moon. I love doing, like, little rituals. I love to burn ancestor money as well during the full moon. And on my birthday, and also the Day of the Dead, which some of you would know it as Halloween, but the Day of the Dead is actually celebrated for your ancestors. You're supposed to give offerings. You're supposed to put up a picture, make an altar for them, you know, something that you can remember them by or something they love. Like, if they like candy, you can set up an altar and put candy around the picture. But nothing I'm telling you is evil. Nothing I'm sharing with you will harm you in any type of way. Green candles are a symbol of growth, good fortune, money, earth, water, and the truth. Did anything I just said sounds evil to you? But yeah, that's the coconut oil. I got a turtle shell, Florida water. Florida water help a lot. Even though it's kind of like watered down, but I like that Florida water. It's kind of, it, it helpful. I want somebody to send me some real organic Florida water. You know, so what you need to do for your attraction candle, number one, you're going to grave your birthday into the candle. So I put my name, I put my full name into the candle. So I don't know if you guys can see it, so I'm trying to, okay, that's my birthday, Andre Howard. That's my full name, my birthday, July 21st, 1989. I put Florida water around the candle as well. And when you're dressing the candle, you'll want to move your hands upward, not downwards. You want the money to come to you. Don't forget. So also, when I use the Florida water, you got to really think about where the candles is coming from. It could be a lot of people touching the candles, giving the candle different energy, negative energy. You know, you don't want that candle to be like heaven like I say different vibes when you dress the candle. So what would you do is you would cleanse the candle with Florida water. So, okay. Dress the candles. I like to dress the candles. I like to use coconut oil. Coconut oil. I like to use organic products. I try to use organic products as much as possible when I'm dressing my candles doing rituals as well. It's more natural, no GMO, but this the coconut oil I use as well. Coconut oil can cure um, BV as well. A lot of people don't know that. And you can use coconut oil to tan when you go to the beach. Just wipe coconut oil is more natural instead of using that sunscreen stuff that causes cancer. I use coconut oil. I use it all the time. It helps with my skin a lot. So, coconut oil. I said coconut oil. I like to use a little cinnamon as well. This is the cinnamon I use. There's nothing wrong with it. I try to get some organic cinnamon, but I can't find it. But yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. It smells good too when you dress it with the candles as well. Uh, what else? Uh, you're going to dress the candles with, with honey, organic honey. I like to use honey. It give it like a little scent for some reason, but yeah, I use the organic honey. Remember, I try to get much organic products when I'm doing my rituals. Don't forget. It's worth it. But I'm not going to show how to dress the candles. But you can look it up. The directions on how to fix your candles as well. You can look it up, you guys. It's easy. It's real easy. I even have books how to dress a candle. But... I don't have time and the patience to record that long and I want to thank you all for the support so I hope you guys like this little video I just showed you guys this is my little turtle shell I use this as well with my rituals um, but yeah I got my mojo bag I forgot to mention try to get you guys a mojo bag it helped with gambling trust me I got a lot of stuff in this mojo bag it do help as well so I do a lot of stuff when I'm doing money rituals and stuff but yeah, don't forget, 
full moon rituals, birthdays, ancestor money. You guys look up ancestor money. You can give your ancestors that passed away money on the other side. I believe it worked. Actually, China have ancestor money. A lot of people don't know about that, but I'm letting you guys know some information. But I just wanted to share with you guys. Hope you guys like the video. I'm out.